quick thing, guys. I got all my stuff in line. My PayPal and email are now stealerstacker at gmail.com. And my cash app is still the same at with the dollar sign in Steeler Stacker. So it won't be so confusing and have all that different stuff up on the board. So my PayPal is stealerstacker at gmail.com. My email is also stealerstacker at gmail.com. And my cash app is still the same, Steeler Stacker. How about that? I got it all fixed up for y'all. So not to make it so confusing. But thank you for participating in my auctions. I appreciate each and every one of you. See you on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Hey, everybody. What's up? Steeler Stacker here. And this is a little Tuesday preview video for my Tuesday auction. And this week, I want to show these off first. We're going to have... Look at a bag of these bad boys. The Buffalo Nickel. There's the, the Mercury Dime. SLQ, Peace Doll, or Morgan. All of them will be in there this week. We'll have the older set. And like I've been having, we'll have the newer set. These are all little tiny metal coins in here. These are awesome. Um, and yeah, you can just tell by feeling both sets. There's a little bit of weight to these bad boys. Pretty cool. There is a five ounce copper in here. Constitutional right to bear arms piece. It is awesome. Five ounce copper. Beautiful. And still, we're going to have one tenth Britannia and the one tenth St. Helena. Both in air tights. Plus, don't know which one yet, but one of the winners will be getting this beautiful back quarter. It was circulated, but it's I got it in my chains. I figured, what the heck, I'll give it away. It says, one of the winners of the one tenths. Here is a Mexican Pasal. It's a silver coin, but it's a low content silver coin. Um, it's a peso right there. Mexican right there. You'll say it. You'll say it. It is very cool, though. I like it. Nineteen fifty eight. Anyway, that'll be in there. Sorry, I got engaged in looking at it. There's some gold backs. Nevada gold back this week. Last week we had New Hampshire. This week Nevada's a Geiger. Not in assay, but it's a one ouncer. And it's beautiful. Just this case is a little scratched. There's nothing wrong with the Geiger at all. It is perfect. If I can get this open real quick, I'll show you. I made this little holder for it. I don't know, it's, uh, it ain't gonna, there, you're just gonna be able to see the back, but I'm not gonna pull it out of there to show you the front, but this thing is clean and serene. I did that because it was out of the case, you know, the assay myself. And then we got a 1923 piece dollar, Tone BU. Picked it up from my local LCS today. Beautiful, she is beautiful. Oops, and we have a Morgan. 1883 Morgan. Beautiful shape. Another one in beautiful shape. And she has a mint mark on her of... Let me look in the sketch in here real quick. Yeah, San Francisco. So San Francisco Morgan, 1883. We have an 1885 Morgan. Look at this pretty one. Wow. Well, no mint mark, but definitely beautiful. Two Morgans. We have another Peace Dollar, 1922 Peace Dollar. It's a beautiful Peace Dollar. There's some toning to it, a little bit of boogerage, but you know what? Oh, no, she's in great shape. This thing is beautiful. Definitely beautiful. And then look at this beast. This one is epic. Very pretty piece doll right here. Sorry, get a little close to the camera. Very beautiful piece doll right here. Nice tonage to her. 
We have a two ounce 308 copper bullet going up. Yeah, we do, baby. Very cool. Let's get to. There's five of these going to be going up. They are. United States Marines Challenge Coins. These are metal. One don't have a case. But the other four do. These are really super cool. They are awesome, actually. They're very neat. Just a different item. Something different I wanted just to pick up and grab to see. Um, try it out. Starting bid for all five of these is going to be $25. So if you've got a, a Marine in a family or you're a Marine and you want these or you know your friend's a Marine, it'd be a great gift or a great thing to have for service people. These are so cool. I thought they were cool. I figured I'd pick them up and see if you guys are interested in them. Why not? Very neat. Very neat. Just neat little lot right there. So all five of them are going to go up at once. We got a 64 Kennedy that is beautiful. Look at that thing. I would say BU 64 Kennedy. We got two walkers. We got a 1942 walker right there. And then a 1941 walker out there. So two walkers this week. We got a cool 1901 German silver coin here. Look at the front of that. That thing is so cool. I had to have it. One mark. Great toning on that. Love it. There is Swiss Val Canby Bar. One Grammars. The, the, how they put all that printing on these little things is awesome. But they're not, really, they're not super little, you know what I mean? They're as big as the tip of your finger. But one Gram Val Canby. Very cool. Like I said, there will be other stuff for sure added. And then this thing is in this beautiful case. Um... There's the name on it right there. And it is written in gold. But inside of here... <clears throat> let me do something real quick. I guess I can't. I'm going to leave it like it is, but I'm just going to try to bring it to D-Day, 1944. There's the coin in front of it. That's, this is an envelope inside it. This slides out, but... And there's the stamps that were issued on a ship. I guess they said this is the first ever stamps that were issued abroad, I think is what it says on the letter of this. Something like that. But it's an awesome shape. Okay, so it slides out pretty pretty easy if you just tap on it. The way you're not messing nothing up. But see, it's in, a, in the envelope here. It says... American stamps have been issued abroad. First time, first edition and marks only. The third time, oh, the third time that the American stamps have been issued aboard U.S. warships. So it's the third time, I guess, they were ever done. Sorry. But you can get into, it opens up. So you can, this coin will come out of here if you wanted it to. I didn't take it out. See the envelope open up, the coin there. Here's the back of it. It's got a really cool picture on the back of it. A soldier laying down with a gun, plane flying overhead. Pretty cool. Very nice, very nice piece right here. And the whole thing, you know, it all comes with the whole thing. This is, a, this, this flaps in here. A little history right there. The D-Day in America. I just thought I'd pick it up. Something, another, one of them unique, different items. If, you know, last, what was it? What was the last week's theme was patriotic. I guess this is more war themed here because of, we got those and this. The gun constitutional right to bear arms thing. So everything kind of do something like that, I guess. I don't know. But there's a little glimpse of what is going to be in it for sure. And then 
um, other things will definitely be added along the way as we go. Right on, right? So I hope to see you guys on Tuesday at 6 p.m. for your chance to walk home with, you know, get a good deal for sure. Some good deals last week. I'm sure it'll be some good deals this week. And some really beautiful pieces also. Really beautiful pieces. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And like I always say, make sure you go out and do something nice for someone. Steeler Stacker and I'm out.